Imagine playing a game on your low-end PC at 20 to 30 FPS. Frustrating, right? Upgrading your hardware might seem like the only solution, but what if I told you there's a way to double, quadruple, or even boost your FPS by 20x? <laughs> All for free and without upgrading your potato PC. Hi, this is Low End Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the best settings for lossless scaling to get higher FPS on your low-end PC. For those unfamiliar, lossless scaling is a software that boosts FPS in almost any game while maintaining high-quality visuals, on practically any hardware. Sounds like magic? It's not. And in this video, I'll walk you through the best frame generation settings to maximize your gaming performance. So, let's dive in without wasting any time. For this video, the specs I'm using are the good old GT1030, an Intel i7 3rd gen, and 8GB of RAM. The game we'll use to test our settings is The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. It's not a new title, but it's not too old either, making it the perfect choice for this test. Before diving into the lossless scaling setup, there are a few things you need to ensure. Make sure the game you're playing is running at least at a stable 30fps. If your FPS is lower, it's essential to tweak the in-game settings or apply config file optimizations to reach this threshold. Higher FPS is always better, but 30fps is the absolute minimum. Now, to use the lossless scaling app effectively, follow these three simple steps. Use your game settings or a third-party tool to cap your FPS at a stable number. Remember, do not go below 30fps. In the game settings, change the display mode to windowed, not full screen or borderless. While your game is running, open the lossless scaling app, click scale, and immediately switch back to your game window. Your game will now run at a higher FPS while maintaining visual quality. Now, let's talk about the best lossless scaling settings for low-end PCs to get the most out of this tool. When you open lossless scaling, you'll see three sections, scaling mode, scaling type, and frame generation. Our main focus is on frame generation, so leave the other settings at their default values. Under frame generation, the first option is the version. As of now, you can choose from three versions, 1.1, 2.3, and the latest, 3.0. Don't assume that the newer version automatically delivers better performance. Keep in mind that you have a low-end PC, higher versions may provide higher frame rates but will also consume more GPU or video RAM. For low-end PCs, I don't recommend using version 3.0. Stick with versions 2.3 or 1.1. Next is the mode. If you select version 1.1, the mode option won't be available. However, with version 2.3, you'll have three options, 2x, 3x, and 4x. Things get more intense with version 3.0, where you can go up to 20x, but that's not ideal for a low-end PC. Here's how it works. If you select 2x mode, your FPS will double the game's capped FPS. For instance, if you cap your game at 30 FPS, you'll get 60 FPS. Similarly, 3x mode and 4x mode will triple and quadruple your FPS, respectively. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. If you have a 60Hz monitor, you won't benefit from frame generation that exceeds your monitor's refresh rate. For example, generating 120 FPS on a 60Hz monitor doesn't reduce input lag because the additional frames are fake and won't sync with the display. Leave the resolution scale at its default setting. If you're using version 2.3, you'll notice a performance toggle. Turning it on improves performance but reduces quality. This option isn't available in version 1.1. For the best experience, I recommend experimenting with all the settings to see what works best for your PC. Here are the best settings. I capped the FPS to 30 and switched to windowed mode. Then, I launched the game using version 1.1 with these settings. You might not notice much of a visual difference between before and after, you need to play it yourself to feel the changes. To provide a clearer perspective, I also tested the game on my Acer Nitro using the same lossless scaling settings. Now, let's move on to version 2.3. Again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to notice the changes visually, but based on my experience, version 2.3 feels smoother and more stable than version 1.1. The input delay is minimal, and overall gameplay feels better. Using the same settings, the game ran noticeably smoother on my Acer Nitro. You can see the improvements for yourself. Now you can decide which settings work best for your system. But if you've followed along this far, let's take things up a notch and do something wild. Let's test version 3.0 with 20x mode and see how it performs, first on my PC and then on my Acer Nitro 5. 
First let's test it on my Acer Nitro 5. These are my lossless scaling settings and my game is capped to 30 frames per second. And this is how the game works on 20 times mode. It feels like I am literally playing an AI generated game. Well, even though you will find this crazy but let's see what happens when I play the game on the same settings but on my PC. Hehehehe! <laughs>